How is everyone? I am outside. Let's head down. Let's head down, shall we? So this is the Outer Loper challenge. It's sort of like regular interloper. See, I did an all outdoor stalker run. Already I'm my mind is just racing with wow. What am I gonna do? How do I play this? Uh because the um my main uh style of gameplay there we are. We're all all out of the warmth now. My main style of gameplay on uh, Interloper is... Oh, we need to keep those, don't we? Uh, is running to... Uh, to shelter. That's... That's what I do. So... Uh, it's not gonna be happening so much. Oh, I should have grabbed a rock or two as well. Okay. So this turkey needs to uh, needs to keep an eye out for sticks, stones, and cattails. Uh, the cattails I'll just find because uh, ooh lichen. Ah uh, no 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 keep walking. Let's not get frostbite in the first three minutes of an outer lobe run. Okay, so the rules. You know, because I'm all about the rules. I can't see anything. This is oh this is bad. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. I can't see anything. I cannot see a thing. That's difficult. It's like, keep an eye out for for stones. Well, I guess I could, if I could see. All right. Now I have my, uh, I have some feats on. And I never, ever have feats on. Please don't kill me. So far, so good. But yeah, I don't ever have feats on, um, but I've got my I've got book smarts and the one that gives you a faster sprint bar. Both are absolutely not what you're looking for in an interloper run, because now my sprint bar comes back faster, so that means my calories go down faster. Well, that was an uneventful trip, which is exactly how you wanna experience that. Oh yeah, I need matches. Sure, I'll take those. Workbench. Yeah, look what I found, a workbench. Okay, so... So the rules of Outer Loper are... Hey, a sewing primer. The rules are... Or at least the conditions of the challenge. There we go. I have a stick. The conditions of the challenge are as follows. I cannot go into a building with a loading screen. So trappers, all the places, places you go into, they're, they're off limits. Spence here, of course, is not with his lovely bed. Um... I guess snow shelter, even though it's not really a loading screen, that doesn't count. It's a snow shelter. Um, so I can't go in the dam. It worked. It sure did. What else do we have to throw on here? Nothing. And I got three minutes to find something. Should have thought this out a little better. Come here. Faster. Faster. Stand up. Cedar. 
Get her on there. Yeah, yeah. It's still not enough to warm them up, but at least now I've got time to go pick up this other piece of wood. Ooh, fur. Good. It's going to need that. Because it looks like uh, sun's just coming up. How bad is it? Oh my goodness, it is bad. Hey, a simple parka. Well, let's put that on. Come on. No, yeah, you can make more fire. Right now. Still very bad news. Got some frostbite risk coming. Let's see if there's another one of these things up here. Oh yeah, look at that. Claimed wood. Sure is cold in the old skeg. Yeah, so anything with a loading screen I cannot get into. How are you doing? Probably not really liking the frostbite risk. But I think I can manage this. <clears throat> I hope I can manage this. Ha ha! One small victory for turkey. Well, that's the thing, right? Turkeys used to be dinosaurs. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, sewing. I don't really like burning up all the coal out here or breaking down all the crates. But let's break down this crate. Oh, I forgot about my water. There goes my water. Normally it uh, it'll last an hour, but I was. I'm sorry, Mr. Can. So yeah, rules are I can't so I can't go through the dam, and I can't. Uh, and I'm gonna impose the. Uh, I, I can't remember what it said. Oh, twenty six ish. I can't remember what it said about the uh, about indoor caves. But I'm going to do what I normally do with those and not sleep inside of them. Caves or mines. I'm going to access caves and mines um, regardless of their loading screen. So let's that. 26, 35. Okay. Ah! Sorry. That was embarrassing. But yeah, I'm going to access those places fine, but I'm not going to sleep in those places. 44, 45 in there somewhere. Oh, 43. Okay. Could end up being useful. Wow, twenty dollars and something to set it on fire. That's great. Yeah, four hours. Well, beds are going to be kind of hard to come by. There's nothing up here. Okay. So let's see here. I've got a coat. Well, this is better than a poke in the eye, I guess. Ooh, metal. So this is going to make the outdoor... Uh, Crafting tables, my friend. Actually, you know, what I need to do right now is get some of that on the go. 
Because I'll probably be eating, eating this dog food before too long. How are you doing? Alright. One more time. Um. Hmm. Okay. I'm just trying to... Because when you're outside on Interloper, most of your... I mean, it's good. Ooh, I should try to get to the summit. Okay. Well, 35% is pretty good. That one away here. I'll take another one. All right. So I'm going to sleep for a couple hours. Let the day kind of warm up. Oh, no, no. I know there's um, accelerant in there, but I don't know if I'm going to grab that. Just grab, uh, yeah, two hours of sleep. Okay, well, I've got no weapons and no way to light a fire. Ooh, 36% right there. Well, that's a deal. So I'll have to collect sticks on my way out of here. Now, Now, Rob got me hip to the fact that there's a, uh, he's a viewer there, um, subscriber of mine. He got me hip to the idea that there is a, always, a, um, a hacksaw in this place. See, I have, I know what the, um, loot tables are. Yeah, that snow is just horribly bright. I know what the, although... Who complains about a nice and sunny day in Forlorn Muskeg, really? You're lucky to have it. Okay, enough uh, sightseeing here. I gotta find one more... One more piece of that... Where was it? Because, I mean, the, the developers were nice about it. They'll give you, they'll give you lichen in, in groups of threes, usually. Is it back over this way? Um, okay, maybe it's just over here and I was just not catching it. Oh no, hold on to that. All right. Ooh, sticks. Gonna take a bit of damage, of course. I'm hoping not too much damage. Yeah, so my sprint bar comes back faster. And on an outer loper where you're having difficulty uh finding a place to sleep. Because where in Mystery Lake can I get some sleep? Ah the the overlook. Okay, so that's where I'm headed. Sorry, that's where I'm going to try to go. I always make these plans like, like, oh yeah, done. I win. No, that's not actually how this game works for me at all. Oh, there's a wolf. That oh, looks like two. Okay, we're gonna set that down gently.
when I spent two weeks in this lovely place, uh, food was actually never really an issue, I don't think. I don't remember it being too much of an issue. You just collected the... Uh, You see nothing, Mr. Wolf. Oh yeah, rocks. Ugh, I need to pick up some rocks. Oh, if you want to give you some tips while I'm doing this. Of course, my my number one tip for playing the long dark is don't get attached. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I think I've said it about 200 and 60 times or so. <laughs> yeah, I know you guys are over there, but you guys, I think, are all walking the same direction I am. Ah, rocks. We might have to lose our torch, which is unfortunate because um, it means I'm going to have to rely on finding an outdoor magnifying glass. Sometimes you find one in Timberwolf and sometimes you find one in a fishing hut in Coastal Highway. Oh, this is going to be tough. Okay, well, he and I are walking to the exact same spot. And I'm not interested. So there was a bit of a dosy -si dough, -do, and they just traded places. You guys. You, you know, I never liked this situation I get into where I've got to, like, split the wolves. You're right over there, aren't you, bud? Everybody sing. <clears throat> There's one right behind me. So I am in three wolves. Darn it. Darn it, also. Okay, well that was me almost getting killed. Hey look, it's a rock. And wolf prince. It was so cute. Not really. So that was me almost killing myself. He did not care for that that rock that I threw. How bad is my frostbite risk? Yeah, it's, it's coming along. It's like it's something you don't want to really cultivate, actually. Okay, so you're going that way. Well, you were going that way. I'm horrible for doing that sort of thing, though. I'm always throwing my... Uh, Yeah, what don't you don't you know? Okay. Now where are we? Oh, we are not anywhere near where I want to be. Well we are. It's closing in. It's all relative. Are you guys all far enough away from me? I hope so. So I'm hoping to find a hacksaw here. Hello, food. It's not going anywhere. I might as well, you know, 
save it for later. I actually will be back this way. This is my go-to way through Forlorn Muskeg. This is the way I usually like to go. Uh, go with what you know. Usually I don't uh, go that way. Uh, through the wolves. Oh, look at this, a backpack. Sometimes there's a book in here. This time there's a book in here. Piece of wood. Oh, yeah. A hat. Some accelerant. Okay, okay. Let's just hang out here for a second. Let's see what's going on. It's wet. Oh, I just feel the heat coming off of that. I'm sorry, my friend. Gotta collect some more cattails. Well, you freeze to death and your skin gets ripped from your body by ice pellets and high winds. Goodbye, calories. Goodbye. Hello, fatigue. Goodbye, calories. That's pretty much what's going on. You could eat anything. How about these? You haven't eaten anything since we started. And that was before sunup. Right now it's, oh, it's much past lunch. Oh no. No, 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 don't do it to me now. Ooh, sticks. I actually should be collecting a couple more of these. So, I'm always, when I'm standing here, I'm always thinking, do I just cut right a little bit? Because you can just up ahead here, cut right and get out of the zone, or do I cut left and go to the camp? So, I'm going to cut left and go to poachers. So, I can sleep in that overlook. Same as in Coastal Highway. Now, once I get my bedroll, I can sleep anywhere. Problem is, I can sleep in the ravine too. Ooh, I've got a whole route planned out. I think on some of it, I'm gonna be exhausted. Yeah, I'm gonna alternate this series with my RimWorld series, which I don't really Games are not like, it's not like, oh yeah, the long dark. It's a lot like RimWorld. It's though no, they're not anything like each other. Other than you're chopping down a lot of wood. You constantly need fuel and food to survive. Here's to hoping that there's something nice in here. Oh, there is too. Look at this storm lantern. Decent hoodie. Is it frozen? It's just wet. Perfect. Hmm. Okay, definitely gonna start a fire. I feel like a bit of an oaf that I threw my torch away. Because it would have lasted. Looks I would have like been able worked. to. Yes, it did. I would have been able to chain the uh, the torches all the way here.
So, I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit off my game here. I'm not used to this. On these settings, especially without a bedroll, I'm really not sure what to do. Well, okay, I know what to do. I have to get to the, uh, Easy. I could eat anything right now. Would you fight a wolf for a can of tomato soup? You're a Canadian. Of course you'd fight a wolf for a can of tomato soup. It's our number one food. We need to find some place to escape this cold. How about in here? Well, let's get a let's get a one piece of coal on here, just to just to make sure he's warm. I really wish the weather would figure out what it wants to do, unless of course this is just what it wants to do. Great, it's just angry all the time. So I'm gonna be angry all day. Oh. oh, you know what might also be up in that lookout is a can opener. So how do I do this? New lookout. Over to over to the wood cutter's place there. The logging camp. Yes, yes. All right, let's get a little half liter here on the go. We'll drink most of it for the heat. Keep the rest of it for later. Take a torch. Ooh, that looks like a good one. It is. It is. Yeah. Okay. Put, put that out. Extinguish. Yes. Absolutely, bud. There we go. Take a torch. Is it too windy for my torch? Might be. So that wolf is walking around on the other side there. He might come stumbling up over here. But since I already snagged the tomato soup, it's probably moved on. Well, it's clearing up and there's a bear. So I've got to get to that overlook if I want to get some sleep in a shelter tonight. Man, that's going to be a walk. Oh! No. Whoa! You scared the crap out of me. You really did, man. I was I was focused on this giant behemoth death machine to my right. I didn't know there was a smaller death machine to my left. Oh no! Clumsy oaf. Yeah, see, I told you, there's a bear out here. What are you, nuts? We don't have time for this. I honestly wish I was a little better at this game so that I could, to eat. you know not be so worried about that situation because I was pretty sure I was going to die right there. Or at very least my hat was going to die.
That was my torch. My torch is about to go out. That's okay, I'll get it before this uh, this rail tunnel here. Time to have here. All right. I'll let this go on for another few minutes. How about we just get on up to that... Uh, okay. Hopefully, i make it up to the... Um, the tower. And I don't know about anyone out there, but I had a... Uh, I had a heck of a time figuring out how to get up there almost every time I've tried to get up there at the old tower there. This is good. I'm not losing any more uh, condition to... <laughs> Look at the condition loss. If this was a dead man's challenge, I'd just start over. I'd be like, well, it's... Uh, he's dead tomorrow. But this is interloper. A little bit of food, a little bit of water, a little bit of luck. It'd be 100% again. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Sometimes that disappears on you. So you can find the can opener or the hammer. I did not find the uh, hacksaw in Forlorn Muskeg, but trust me, it's there. See, normally I'd just run over to Trappers. Look at this guy. Look like a marathon runner. Sprint. How do you feel about sprinting like 120 yards? Oh, yeah. In snow? With 20 pounds on my back? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's my bed off there in the distance. There's a wolf also in the more in the foreground than the immediate far distance. Now, he's acting kind of funny. Oh, okay. Now he's acting normal. He's going about his business. But I don't want to drop my torch in case... Uh, in case he hears that. Okay, here we go. Like, who's gonna catch these boots? I tell ya. You guys, great. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Put that away. I meant totally for this thing. There we go. Yeah, the reason I gotta really keep it uh, keep it on the torch chain thing here, if if the game lets me. The reason I gotta do the torch thing uh, is uh, I'm not sure how many matches you're supposed to find outside on uh, on outer loper. I know you find your, uh, I need to find a mag lens, and at least if I get a couple of fire strikers, whoa, look who's here, look who's here, no, no, don't bring him back here, what are you, nuts, no, don't see a thing, wow, so that happened, Staying in the wind shelter. It's important. That should help warm. Hey man. Okay. No. No, no, no. I 
I don't have what it takes to... <laughs> okay, okay, alright. Gang time. Let's see, what do I got? More sticks, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. A couple of degrees, though. Fifteen minutes. It's gonna freeze me to death. If the wind even lets this fire hang out long enough to kind of guard my back. And he's exhausted. We got lots of food. I don't know why I did that. Now I'm disappointed in myself. Well, mildly. On the, on the whole, I think it was pretty, actually, a lot of fun. Watch that whole... Whole thing go down there, but... Okay, so, ah, we'll just... I've got an idea. Warm that up, drink some of it, most of it. Yeah. This up, perfect. And it all worked out, everything was just fine. Yep, good. You go that way. I really wanted to gather some some materials off that animal there. And maybe I still will. But, uh, need to get some sleep. Darn it. It's too fresh. It's too early in the game for me to be trying to do, re like, a, a, to waste resources trying that jazz out. So I think this is the way you get up here. I'd lay down right here if I thought I'd ever wake up again. Oh, you would most certainly not wake up again if you laid down right here. They do put wood pulp in a lot of food, so I suppose, but nutritional value is not very... We've had this conversation, I don't know how many times. <clears throat> okay, I need to get rid of this torch. Oh yeah, I still can't run. Okay. Get it? Perfect. Oh yeah, still can't run. Got a great memory, it's just really short. So we're gonna get up to this, uh, this here thing. Outer loper, eh? Oh, it's a cinch. You just stay outside all the time on interloper settings. Just... I'll give it one thing. I got a lot of food because I started in Forlorn Muskeg. Yeah, might as well have two stones. Two stones is better than no stones. Now, now somebody said that there was a wolf here that met them here one time. And all I can think is, 
That is the most unfortunate turn of events ever because I've never encountered a wolf up here. And I run on this thing. Well, I run all the time. This poor guy. He's going to have giant legs on him. Ow. That's smart. Yeah, I bet you it would. Sprained wrist all the way up here. Looks like we're going to have a pretty night. For his first night on Interloper. Outerloper. Oh yeah, when they added that in, I just flipped right out. I was like, what am I looking at? Because when they added that in, I thought, wait a second. Have you always been able to... Was there... Have you always been able to see this from... Uh-oh, I think I might have. Yeah, I'm almost out of torches. Keep on moving. Well, suddenly now it doesn't want to tell me. But I thought, could you, al could you always see the, the forest lookout from... But no. Oh, that was my torch. I almost made it. Should have grabbed an extra torch or two from the fire. I don't see how that would have hurt me at all. Yeah, well, this is not a setting to be making multiple errors on, and this is going to catch up to me in the long run. Like I was saying earlier, I wish I was slightly better at this game so I could get... Uh, more than 14 days being alive on uh, Dead Man's Challenge would be a nice accomplishment for me, too. But I thought I'd try the Outer Loper. Alright, let's get inside here. Hopefully it's warm enough. I didn't even think of that. My frames went all the like poop snared there, too. I'll just slow down on my well, for a little bit. Slow down on my mouse movements. Perfect. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Cooking pot. Hammer time. Now there won't be a pry bar in here. And I don't really care if I find a sewing kit or not because, um... Oh, it's not warm enough. Oh, it is. Okay. Let's see her sleep for an hour. And then we'll get sorted out. Alright, so a quick look at my inventory and then my plan from here is to, I guess... I don't know. No, my plan is to go up to the other. There's so many locations I gotta check for a bedroll. Well, not so many, but a couple of locations I wanna check for a bedroll too. Because that's essential. I have some difficulties. We do have some difficulties. I'm standing on this bench. I'll get off the bench. Okay, so I have a hammer. The hammer. I'm wondering if I should just go back to Forlorn Muskeg and make some tools. Because if I go back to Forlorn Muskeg right now... Cold is making my head feel thick. Yeah, 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 yeah I know you're cold. It's, we, we do not have a good environment for you, and I apologize. But if we go back to Forlorn Muskeg right now, and I can get... Uh, 
the hatchet made up. And now that I've looked in a couple of places for the saw, I know where it is. Or at least, I hope I know where it is. I don't know about breaking this down, though, because tools... Because, I mean, you think about it, Outer Loper, uh, what can I do in Desolation Point? Well, I can't forge. So the only forge that's open to me is this forge, and I'm right beside it. I should, God, I should do it. All right, well... We'll come back next time when I um, run back across Forlorn Muskeg. Slightly different route. I'll be grabbing plenty of cattails. Oh, man. That's a tricky one, I'll say. I'll give it that. I gotta go. Oh, that is a walk. Yeah, well, what else is he going to do? Mostly because on Outer Loper, I would like to go to Mush River Valley. You can't, you can't go inside anyhow. So, not even by an accident. And what would be a great way to get through Milton to get to... That'd be a long walk, but there's a bed right on the edge. Hmm, lots of thinking, lots of thinking. Another place for a... Bedroll. Oh, my head's gonna explode. All right, well, we'll see you next time. Till then, keep surviving. And uh, well, we will not be doing that either. Until next time, yeah, keep surviving. All right. Damn near killed him. <laughs>